Now, how does mitosis differ from meiosis? There are both similarities and differences. But a key thing in mitosis is that when you had the homologous pairs of chromosomes, okay, yes, I know you miss her, okay, so this is chromosome, start off with one chromosome from dad, one chromosome from mom, right? Now, you're going to undergo replication of the DNA. So you now have sister chromatids, okay? And in mitosis, these sister chromatids, these homologous chromosomes, don't care about each other. It doesn't matter that you have two copies of these two chromosomes. Okay? They line up at the mitotic spindle without any regard for what its partner does. So mom's pair of chromosomes, mom's pair of sister chromatids don't care at all about dad's pair of sister chromatids. They align completely independent of each other. And let's go, grab one, grab the other. Okay. So each set, each daughter cell now, has one maternal and one paternal. They're identical to each other. In meiosis, something different happens. Okay? Meiosis consists of two rounds of division to give rise to four cells. Okay? The start of meiosis, the initial step, is the same. You have a maternal and a paternal chromosome. You synthesize DNA, so you make sister chromatids. Once again. But this time, something different happens. During prophase, the maternal copy and the paternal copy actually pair up with each other. So they actually pair up with each other. The homologous sets of chromosomes have to line up with each other, and they go to the mitotic spindle to the my, sorry, meiotic spindle, to the metaphase plate, together. So they line up on the spindle together. There's a process of crossing over that I'll get to in a minute. And now what happens is when you undergo the first meiotic division, you separate pairs of chromosomes. So you separate these sister chromatids. So one daughter cell is going to get two sister chromatids, and the other is going to get the other two sister chromatids. In mitosis, these would separate from each other. In meiosis, the first division of meiosis, these pair up. So you have four instead of two, and one set goes to one pole, and the other set goes to the other pole. Okay.